it's another beautiful day virgos in virgo land how are you guys how are you cutie pies doing we, this is for virgo sun moon rising venus if you are a virgo know a virgo want to be a virgo i'm so glad you're here virgo pull up a chair and let's talk what is going on what is the past position that was one last shuffle i feel like i had to do it and look Harry the Capricorn is joining us today on the Ottoman. I think he's, is he watching? Is he giving us major side eye? Okay, Virgos, let's see. Present, no, past position for you guys. What's the past position for my Virgos? What is it? Ooh, six of pentacles. Even give and take Taurus energy. Starting off with some earth energy. Look at that. I like it. I like it. We're not starting with, I hate you. Go to hell. That's nice. Fair, balance, junior arcana card to the justice card. Gosh, guys, I can't shuffle. I swear, you should have seen me before I hit record. Cards were all over the place. Okay, how um, how did you see yourself during this even give and take? How did the Virgos see themselves during this time? How did the Virgos see themselves during this time? Ace of Swords reversed. I feel like, the, well, it's too early to even figure out what this means but I I mean I feel like this is idea mode ace of swords is a is a brilliant idea like you got a great idea but there's just no action being done on it and you're protecting it probably keeping it close to your chest trying to work out the finer details uh what did you learn in the past this is an odd reading usually it starts with like relationship drama or some type of drama and then we work our way through this is like Virgo already healed and Virgo wants to accomplish something Okay, what did you learn, Virgo, during this time in the past? What did you learn during this time? Nine of Cups, happiness. Wow, is it only going up from here, guys? I like this. Pisces energy. This is really, really nice. Clarity and thought. There, You know, like, Virgo wants... Um, if this is relationship, if this was a relationship... This is, this is maybe you were in a previous relationship where you were breadcrumbed or you gave, you know, you were the one giving and, you know, not getting anything back and you got clarity on this. That, and now maybe you're happy and single. That's just, it could be for a past relationship. But I almost feel like this, if this is business or something, there's just something you wanted and you, I mean, as whatever you put in, you want back out. And it, whatever it is, it's in the idea phase right here with the Ace of Swords reverse. If it's not in the idea phase, it's it, because a pentacle is here. That's what brings me back that it, maybe it's not possibly just in the idea phase. Maybe this is a new beginning. It's a new, maybe an online business. It could be just an, a new job, whatever it is, but you might be keeping it close to you because you know, if too many people know, you're afraid of what people will say. You know how that is on early relationships or anything that you really are excited about? Um, when you say something too soon, people want to tear it down and then you lose your momentum. That's the Ace of Swords reverse. It's warning you to protect it. It's just not strong enough to stand on its own to take that kind of criticism. Um, so you're protecting whatever this is. You, you, you expect a, a good return on it and, and it's going to bring you long term. You know what you learned in the past is you're on to something that's going to bring you long term happiness. There, we got there. We finally got there. Okay, what is the present situation for Virgos? What is the present situation? What is that card that flipped? <gasps> the Empress. Isn't that a beautiful card? I mean, for who am I reading for? This is awesome. This is a great reading. And if you watch tarot, you know a lot of readings aren't super great. They aren't. Look at this present situation you guys you guys are feeling yourself you're aligned to your higher self you're on your right path you, that ace of, even if an ace of swords is reversed it means it, it really does mean like a, a brilliant idea but because of pentacles next to it i already said that it is grounded into earth so it's beyond the idea stage but you're just protecting it and you know it's going to bring you long-term happiness and because you know this i mean empress is all four queens and how do you become an empress because you went through all the life lessons from the Queen of Swords reverse, Queen of Swords upright, Queen of Pentacles reverse, Queen of Pentacles upright, yada, yada, yada. All four and you're in Empress mode. You took all those life lessons and it, you're, you're applying them to life right now. I think you guys are pretty happy where you are. What's coming in that, you, that will influence this? 
What's the energy coming in that's going to influence this Empress card or present situation? What's the energy coming in, Virgo, that's going to influence it? Ooh, I like it. Five of Swords reversed. Again, I feel avoiding drama. This also is tied here, Nine of Cups. Why are you in the Nine of Cups? What did you learn? You will learn by avoiding the drama and clearing your energy. And people, I mean, look at this card. Look how this, this woman took from this man. Like a, she's literally holding a piece of him within her hand. But she took so much from him. He's just a shadow of, of his former self. I feel like for this to pop out, whatever you were in way in the past, because it's not even really on the board, you, you gave so much of your energy to a relationship or to a job or to a situation that you felt completely lifeless and drained, which is why we probably started with six of pentacles. Whatever you're investing in, there's got to be that, that job or that person, they, they have to be given back. That's what you really learn. And that's where your long-term happiness is. And you're the empress. You're the, you see yourself as the empress. That means you are only dealing with kings and higher. You're not dealing with pages. You're not dealing with full reverses. You're, you're just done with that. So yeah, the energy coming in is the five of swords reverse. And also I, I'm getting the feeling like, even if you're in the Empress, you can't prevent these energies, even like this upright coming at you, but it's almost like a force field around you. And by the way, if you guys don't do that, you should really, you should really imagine a force field around you, however you feel it, because that does protect your energy. Um, so if people think negatively of you, it, it won't penetrate your energy. It will literally bounce off. Cause that's what I thought when I saw this, this kind of energy will bounce right off an empress. It's like, you're just, you're at a higher frequency. You're not even dealing with people like this anymore. So how will this five of swords reverse affect you by not playing in the devil's playground? How will that affect you Virgo? How will that affect you? The hermit, there you are, you're showing up. How it will it affect you? Again, I feel like you're so protected that I just don't think a five of swords. That's why it's reversed. I just don't think you're going to allow these energies to get to you. I think you guys are in such a high alignment with whatever path you're on right now. You have such a fierce, I want to say fierce goal in mind to get to this nine of cups and you see yourselves as an empress that you probably have, maybe some of you have even isolated yourself away from people because Again, I know I'm sounding like a broken record and it's early in the reading. I feel like you dealt with this five of swords crap so much in the past that you only want an equal give and take. You only want long-term happiness and you will be all alone if you have to be to protect you. I mean, she's literally up on a building where nobody can get her and she's happy. She's happy. She is. Okay. What's the final outcome in this reading? What is the final outcome? Is that a song? It should be. What is the final outcome in this reading? The four of wands wanted to pop out. What is the final outcome for my Virgos? Ooh, eight of cups reversed. I must, I don't know how I feel about that card. I felt like I needed to do one more shuffle, but I'll roll with it because I picked it. Eight of cups reverse is the final outcome, but you know what? Looking at it, uh, I almost feel, are you guys like focused on work and not given to love possibly? Could it be? I mean, the eight of cups reverse can talk about, you know, stuck in your emotions. Um, but it, it could, I mean, it could be I mean, a past situation did you so wrong that it's like, you guys don't even want to give to it. And we'll clarify and see what happens. At the bottom of the deck, we do have victory, the six of wands reversed. So Leo energy. Okay. So let's clarify with the golden tarot. And by the way, I forgot, I keep forgetting to mention that the main deck is the mystical moments, tarot mystical moments. Isn't that a beautiful deck? I really, really like it. I do. I do. I do. It's such a beautiful morning, guys. It is. Okay. This Virgo sun, moon, rising Venus. Tell me about the six of pentacles in the past. Why do, why, what happened with the six of pentacles? Where did this come from? What did it come about? The strength card wanted to pop out. I think you guys got a lot of strength from your past situation. It was probably a tough lesson, but it really strengthened your, your character and what you want and what you don't want. Okay, tell me about the Six of Pentacles for Virgo in the past. And Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. I feel like that's like a love offer. 
Okay, let me get let me have one more card on that. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. What is this? What is this? Justice. Libra. Libra's Libra's all over this reading. So Nine of Cups. I mean, were you guys dealing with somebody that could not like that could not convey their emotions? Maybe they had trouble getting into their feelings. Maybe you had to guess every little thing. Anything they did or didn't do, you kind of had to read into it because this is a person that had communication problems. For the Knight of Cups to come on the Six of Pentacles in the past, I feel like this is, this is, this is what you expect. You expect to be somebody from now on, the justice is balance, right? Justice is honesty. She wear she has a square hair, square hair. <laughs> she doesn't have a square hair. She's got a square here, and in the traditional card, she's got one on her crown, like her her crown chakra. B squares are foundations. They talk about honesty. They talk about truth. This is what this person stands for. This is what you stand for, Virgo. This is what you expect in a relationship, or a job, or a friendship, or anything. From now on, you want truth. You want honesty. You you're building a strong foundation. If somebody's going to join you, well, they better bring it, and they better be they better be comfortable in their emotions. They better be able to convey how they're feeling because the time of you guessing and you doing all the work is over. That's why I feel like that popped out there. Okay, tell me about this Ace of Swords reversed. Why did Virgo see themselves as the Ace of Swords reversed? You know, I just as I'm looking at that, if you guys were dealing with another Virgo. If you were dealing with another Virgo, did you guys find out they're a liar? Ace of Swords Reverse can also talk about, you know, the clear finding out clarity that you're dealing with an untruth trustworthy person. I feel like it's like two different stories going on. If you, if you are deal we're dealing with a Virgo, but how you see yourselves is it's like that clarity finding out finding out who you were dealing with that was breadcrumbing you that they were a liar. Maybe that other people, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's a bit icky. Tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse, if it's relationship. If this is job, like I said, even if, if this is talking about even heading into something new, I feel like this is you in protection mode. Ace of Swords reverse. You have an idea. You have something you want to you wanna bring to life. You're nurturing and you're protecting. That's also, that was the main story. Tell me about this Ace of Swords reverse for Virgo. Oh, King of Pentacles reverse. Taurus again. Um, and some of you were dealing with a Taurus. I can't, I can't stop thinking of it. it. You know, what's amazing with tarot when you clarify the first story I feel like is the person watching, you know, it's like your story. Clarifiers can be who you are dealing with. I just, it seems like, you know, all the readings I've done, it's, it's, this is a rep repetitive, repetitive kind of situation. So maybe you guys were dealing, it could have been a Taurus. It could have been someone with Taurus in their chart. Either way, I think this is someone who, who presented themselves as having it together. This is someone who presented themselves as wanting a commitment. This is someone who presented themselves as being loyal, being honest, having maybe even having money, having a good job. And you found out they were a liar. Virgo, did you find out this person is, is presenting themselves one way and in actuality with the justice here that they were, oh, so maybe they were even married with the justice here. You just found out that they were a liar is this could this be possible could this be possible virgo king of pentacles reverse is somebody who is not very confident who is a scatterbrains they're not good with it's like you don't want to you don't want to get into a business contract with king, king of pentacles reversed they, they they're all show and no action you know they say one thing and then do another so tell me about this nine of cups what did Virgo learn? You know what I'm feeling? You learn that you're happier on your own than dealing, you know, trying to raise a grown grown person, man or woman. Tell me, what did Virgo learn? Why, why did they learn the Nine of Cups here? How did they grow into the Nine of Cups? Tell me about that card, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like this is you just going after, you realize you don't need anybody else to bring you long-term success and happiness. You, you're doing it on your own. Man or woman, you are doing it on your own. I do feel like that. You're you're after the Ten of Pentacles. Again, I, I felt that too. We have the Empress. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Hermit. We have three cards of, of alone, like energy, singular energies. I feel like you guys are just done with these Five of Swords reverse, and you are on a path, even if it's on your own, to your long-term happiness and goals. 
you realize you don't need, you just don't need anybody with you. And once you're at the 10 of pentacles, guys, this is where you want to manifest from. Once you're here, if you're manifesting love, manifest from the 10 of pentacles, get your S H I T together, you know, get, get all that worked out, get everything in place and then manifest somebody who is also a 10 of pentacles. And then you have 20 pentacles, right? I mean, there, there should be that tarot card. That is, that is when two whole people come together and have a very happy life. They know who they are. They, and both people are ready to commit and, you know, do a six of pentacles with each other. Ooh, that's not a dirty. <laughs> okay. Give me, tell me about this Empress card in the present situation. Tell me about this Empress for Virgo. Yeah. You're feeling it because you're no longer stressed over this past situation. You're probably not stressed over a whole lot, to be honest. I think you guys are making good money. You realize what it takes to have a happy life. And you, again, I feel like you're laser focused on that with the Ace of Swords on the board. Reverse or otherwise, it's about laser focus and clarity. But you're the Nine of Swords reversed. You're no longer letting the past dictate your future. You are probably... I feel like you're living in the here and now. You're in the moment. You're trying to be in the moment more. You're trying to appreciate. You probably appreciate those who are in your life and giving that attention over who should not be. I like it. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse and the energy that's affecting the present situation. Energy coming in. The Five of Swords reversed. The Two of Swords reversed. I feel like this is coming out of contemplation, coming out of the peace. I feel like the Five of Swords to get over this, puts you in the two of swords to heal, right? Um, twos talk about decision, but when I look at this card, I think of peace because she's in, she's internalizing. She's trying to understand what happened. She's got a blindfold on because she doesn't need to use her eyes. She's using her intuition. She's, you, you know, she's it's just within and she's trying to understand and she's happy in the air now. She's in between two heavy swords. She's been between the sun and the moon. She's in between land and water. She's just an in-between. This is an in-between. But it's talking about being at peace, even though you're in the in-between. And because it came out reversed, you guys are now coming from the in-between. And I think it's a six of swords. I'm, I just got in my head real strong. A six of swords. You're now, you're not, it's like you're done healing. I feel like if you're in the Empress, I feel like you're healed from this past situation. You're ready to take action. Some of you are already on that road to taking action, but you're, already, you're making decisions. You're making strong decisions over your life. Another Libra card. Tell me about the Hermit here. How, how will this... Oh, sorry. Five of Swords reverse and Two of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Hermit, how, you'll, um, how this Five of Swords reverse became the Hermit somehow. How did you become a Hermit? How, why is the Hermit here? Ace of Cups reversed. Yep. This is you guys isolating, you guys withdrawing from love, the love games, right? This is you no longer offering your cup maybe to relationships. I do feel like you guys are more focused on your pentacles, your money, your abundance. Excuse me. If you have kids, you're just focused on being a single parent. I think you're just happy, Virgo. I feel like who I'm reading for, you're just happy. I know this is an exciting tarot, tarot read. This isn't about, oh my God, Virgo, the love of your life is coming in. But you know what showed up? The Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Empress. Don't you guys want that? Don't you want your own Ten of Pentacles? Your own, like, that is where the happiness is. And maybe, maybe in a week or two, we're going to get this hot love. But right now, this is feeling pretty damn good. The Hermit is the Ace of Cups reversed because they withdrew from society. They withdrew from people. If you, people are asking you, even friends, to go out for drinks or go out to dinner, you may just be like, mm, I just want to watch Netflix and be home. Ace of Cups reversed. You're, it's like, per, I feel like you're healing. You're healing, you're done healing, but you're protecting your heart, which why we have the Eight of Cups reversed. Remember, I originally felt like that is you guys just not offering your emotions. Let, uh, tell me about the Eight of Cups reversed and the outcome. Tell me about the Eight of Cups reversed. Tell me for Virgo and the outcome. What's this Eight of Cups reversed about for Virgo? Eight of Cups reversed. Seven of Swords reversed. You're avoiding. I think you're avoiding getting hurt again. You're avoiding the drama. Maybe right now you guys are just, you're too busy. You're too tired because you're working and you're donating your time to who matters. That you're, you're not willing to even spend 10 minutes to try to discern if an energy 
is going to stab you in the back or cheat you or lie to you. It's like, you know, it's, I feel like you guys are using your quick intuition, not, you know, like you're feeling people out and you're avoiding those. You're, you're just not lending. I just get that so strongly. You're not lending your emotions to people who aren't already in your inner circle, which is why you're the Ace of Cups reversed in the Hermit. You're, you know, it's not like you're shutting everybody out, but I just don't think you're entertaining new options, friends, anything right now. I think you're just focused on building your life. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reversed and the Eight of Cups reversed. Yeah, because you're the Queen of Pentacles, damn it. Look at that. Capricorn energy, but I, I always felt like this was Virgo. I know you guys are the Knight of Pentacles, but come on. Queen of Pentacles, she can do it all. I do feel like queens and kings are married, but I always feel like the Queen of Pentacles is definitely feels like a single mother to me because she literally does it all. She, she runs a house. She runs a business. She's nurturing. And if you guys ever noticed the rabbits in the bottom corner of the car, card, the rabbits represent nervous energy. It doesn't say the, the queen never gets nervous. She just doesn't show it. She doesn't let nerves dictate her life. She doesn't let nerves keep her up at night because she's the nine of swords reversed, right? Where you're sleeping at night. You're, you're in control of your emotions. You're in control of your anxieties. You, you probably compartmentalize and, and give things that matter more time than things that really don't matter, you know? That you're focused on your long-term abundance and because it did come out, I do feel like queens, maybe a lot of you do have um, children. And that's just where your focus is, taking care of your families, taking care of your home, taking, you know, building that savings account, focusing on maybe buying a house or paying off a house or, you know, it's just the good life. I feel like this is the good life. That should be the title of it. And the six of cups reversed and the queen of pentacles. Yes. Then I say children, taking care of your children. Oh, and you know what else I think this is? I think Virgos, I think many of you, and this might be presumptuous to say, but I got this and so I'm going to say it. I think many of you forgave yourself. If there's stuff in your past that you're not too proud of, even if you were in control, control of it or not, things that happened in your childhood that you wish could have been better. Maybe you wish you had a better childhood. You had better parents. I think a lot of you have forgiven that. I think a lot of you have put into perspective that there's just some things out of your control and things had to happen to you for a particular reason. And if those things, if one thing was different, it wouldn't lead to where you are now. It could have been a way worse life, right? But everything had to happen to where you are now and where you will be, which is the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. You guys are going to get there and you're going to get there big, but you, as long as you keep your focus. But I think this is an awesome reading, very awesome reading. But that's what I have for you this week, Virgos. Oh, look at this at the bottom, the F Tower and the Fool. That is leap, a leap of faith. And the tower, I feel like, is this change. I feel like a transformation. It is Scorpio card. It's a transformation, a change. Whatever this idea is, it completely is transforming your life. And you guys are doing it with the fool. You're, you're leaping into it. But okay, Virgos, I love this reading. It was fantastic. I hope you guys have a awesome week. I hope you do something. Try to do something good for yourselves. You know, take yourselves out for ice cream. Take yourselves for a walk. Just pat yourselves on the back because I think I, everybody has things in their past that we've had to get over and we did get over. At the time, we probably wondered how are we going to get over, but we did. And I think we don't give ourselves enough credit. We are, we're too busy taking care of everybody else. Spend some time and take care of you, Virgo. You deserve it. Okay, that's what I have. I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.